And another look at National Weather Service Doppler radar. And once. For quality eye care, call the Cataract and Laser Institute at 681 8505. And we still have pockets of moderate to heavy snow around KD country. Take a look at Doppler radar in a moment. 26 degrees, snow and wind, and that's our low so far for the day. But of course, it's going to be colder than that. Winds are out of the north and northwest now at around 15 to 20 miles an hour to be colder than that. 26 later on tonight is what I mean to say. Humidity at 92% pressure. Now it's a good sign. It's rising to 9.43 inches. And another look at National Weather Service Doppler radar. And once again, see pockets of green. That's where the moderate to heavy snow is. It's all moving off to the northeast. It seems to have expanded during the past hour or so. Still lingering in western sections of Pennsylvania and in northern West Virginia. Still looks like several more inches of snow. Good possibility this afternoon, two or three inches of snow. Some areas, though, where you see the green could pick up an additional four to six inches. And now I'm getting some reports of up to 22, 21 inches of snow. So let's just say anywhere from one to two feet of snow throughout KD country. Total snowfall before it slowly ends during the afternoon hours. More than likely late this afternoon, it'll be rather light and intermittent. But it'll be a slow process. Temperatures in the 20s. Eh, yes, 26 at Greensburg, 29 at Morgantown now. Washington at 27 degrees. Going to be a cold night tomorrow morning. Most temperatures down around 15 to 18 degrees. It's 30 at Uniontown in the snow. Cannonsburg's 27. Butler now at 26 degrees, and more than likely we've reached our highs for the day. Temperatures more than likely will fall slowly. This afternoon, the storm now is between Philadelphia and New York City and taking off to the northeast. Swirl of clouds around that storm, and we have cloud cover in the KD country with the snow lingering. Snow in northern New England, most of the precip at New York and Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., it was all in the form of rain. And you have snow showers back and through the Great Lakes area. There's the storm coming up on New York City and heading off to the northeast. At a pretty good clip right now, but we still have snow lingering behind that front. Not a whole lot of snow back and through Ohio. Youngstown, I believe, got something like eight inches of snow up around Cleveland, seven inches of snow. Erie picked up eight inches of snow. So as you get north and northwest of uh, Allegheny County, not as much snow. You gotta remember, this was not lake effect snow. This was because of this storm scooting up the east coast. That cold air has pushed all the way into the southeast. Temperatures this afternoon all through the state of Florida, only in the 60s except down in the southern tip of Florida, Miami. More than likely get to 72. We'll find readings in the 20s below zero in the northern plains this afternoon. And it's going to get cold here, but not that cold. Here's my AccuWeather forecast. Looks like this. Snow will slowly end this afternoon. Further accumulations, two or three inches, but keep in mind you still saw some green on Doppler, so there's still going to be spots of four to six inches additional. Most of us will see total accumulations of anywhere from one on up to around two feet. Very similar to the storm we had back in March of last year. All right, the high temperature, 28, probably won't get much above 26 right now. Flurries tonight, passing snow shower possible, cold. Early tomorrow morning. Temperature in the upper teens, that's it. 15 to 18 degrees tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a flurry or two in the morning. But look what happens to the temperature, 24 degrees. That's the high for tomorrow afternoon. And my AccuWeather five days shaping up like this. Sun into Thursday, looks like a little snow in here on Thursday. And indications are our latest computer products, snow changed to rain, but that's a bit of a question mark. Let's forget about that right now and worry about it tomorrow, all righty? On into Friday, a little snow and rain mixed. Afternoon high in the mid-30s and a few flurries and cold on Saturday, mid-20s. But be patient, the snow will slowly end this afternoon. But as I say, it'll be a slow process. We're getting close to the March storm, aren't we, in total accumulation? Well, the reports I'm getting around, officially the airport measures it. And uh, National Weather Service out near the airport. And they're coming up with, I think it's 14 right now. Okay. But I get a, I'm getting a lot of calls, 20, 21, 22. So what? one to two feet. It's very similar to the storm we had in March last year. All right, thanks, Bob. Now, in today's health team report, I guess most of us suffer from dry...